They call you the godfather of AI. So what would you be saying to people about their career prospects in a world of superintelligence? Train to be a plumber. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna become a plumber. Jeffrey Hinton is the Nobel Prize winning pioneer whose groundbreaking work has shaped AI and the future of humanity. Why do they call you the godfather of AI? Because there weren't many people who believed that we could model AI on the brain so that it learned to do complicated things, like recognize objects and images, or even do reasoning. And I pushed that approach for 50 years. And then Google acquired that technology, and I worked there for 10 years on something that's now used all the time in AI. And then you left? Yeah. Why? So that I could talk freely at a conference. What did you want to talk about freely? How dangerous AI could be. I realized that these things will one day get smarter than us, and we've never had to deal with that. And if you want to know what life's like when you're not the apex intelligence, ask a chicken. So there's risks that come from people misusing AI, and then there's risks from AI getting super smart and deciding it doesn't need us. Is that a real risk? Yes, it is. But they're not going to stop it because it's too good for too many things. What about regulations? They have some, but they're not designed to deal with most of the threats. Like, the European regulations have a clause that say none of these apply to military uses of AI. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. One of your students left OpenAI. Yeah. He was probably the most important person behind the development of the early versions of ChatGPT. And I think he left because he had safety concerns. We should recognize that this stuff is an existential threat.